So I'm Damien Green and I'm a physician scientist at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, uh, which is also part of the University of Washington. And uh, we have a number of exciting uh, preclinical and clinical studies going on. My focus is a translational scientist. So my work, I run a laboratory and my, I love being where I am because we are able to bring discovery from the bench side to patients very rapidly. So I'd love to tell you about uh, one of the studies that we anticipate uh, opening in within the next uh, eight months, eight to ten months maybe, is a CAR T cell uh, based approach targeting BCMA, which we know is well studied uh, as a target, but we're really working very hard on developing refinements to the construct so that we can come up with an optimized construct that is going to be effective both in eliminating the myeloma cells completely, and that is our goal obviously, but then beyond that ensuring that they stay gone. So some of the exciting data that has been presented so far has shown a remarkable and uh, really exciting responses uh, to the therapy. We uh, see that as great proof of principle work but unfortunately, many of the patients uh, have relapsed, some of them quite e early, even after they got into a stringent complete response. And so uh, we think that we can do better with the cars, and not just us, at other centers as well, but we're spending a lot of time in the lab designing just the right car. We know that if you get the car into the right uh, approximation, not too close, not too far, kind of a Goldilocks zone from the target cell, that can have impact the way that the car cells uh, signal. There's a whole complex set of uh, different parameters that we have to look at to come up with an optimized car. We've done that uh, in, uh, in other areas. We did uh, a lot of work at the center with CD19 targeting and have really demonstrated, I think, very exciting results in that, uh, in that arena for patients with ALL. And we've seen uh, response rates of 93% in that space. And we're uh, very focused on bringing a BCMA uh, car that we've designed to patients with myeloma. And my hope is that we'll have that study open as soon as this coming August. I'd like for it to be faster, but those are just the realities of, the, uh, of this world. But we're, we have the pedal to the metal on trying to get this out there, but also make sure we have just the right construct so that we can see long-term sustained responses in patients, including those patients with refractory disease that's been refractory to everything else. Uh, and we've seen that in the CD19. I've treated patients with the CD19 car and my colleagues, many more patients, the CD19 car. They came to Seattle with the sense that there was nothing left for them, frankly. Um, and we have put patients into complete remission uh, who are now doing well when the alternative at the time was uh, often uh, hospice for those patients. So I want to bring that to myeloma and that's one of the major focuses of my work and we'll have a study open soon. So I think it's a critical question in terms of expression of BCMA and I think there are a number of important things that we're investigating along with opening this trial. Um, one of the issues has been different groups have reported different percentages of patients who actually have BCMA on their target cells. We look by pretty sensitive means and when we've looked we have found it on everyone's myeloma cells. Um, immunohistochemistry, which has been done by some other groups, have not found it on every one of those cells, but you could argue that's a less sensitive means than some of the flow cytometry based assays. So, so one thing I'd say is I think that while we will want to demonstrate all patients in the study have BCMA, on the surface, I'm pretty confident that that's going to be the vast majority, if not all, myeloma patients because I think it's there. It may just be different modes of detecting it. Now, you do want a fair number of those targets on the surface, and so we're also uh, looking at ways to make this available to patients even if they are low expressors of BCMA. Um, and that's a part of the projects that we're, that we're really focused on. So I think that um, my expectation is Ultimately, we will have this available to all myeloma patients. We picked this target and we're doing things with our car and, the, and in this system to make sure that this is broadly available, I, hopefully to everyone. I expect that it will be.